everyone, today I will be conducting a crime prevention envi through environmental design of the Wickham Park. Brisbane City Council has made a number of attempts to make this space more inviting and usable, but clearly, as I will show throughout this risk assessment, and not enough has been done. Once going through this risk assessment, I will make a number of recommendations to improve this space. And firstly, I will begin with the lighting situation in the park as it is currently used by patrons going to the train station and the private hospital, and thus lighting is important as it is used day and night. The first part of this order that we will be discussing is the clear lacking of lighting throughout this park. This can be seen through the broken light footprint and how the foliage currently covers the lights that are closest to Wickham Street. This lack of lighting discourages the nearby community, such as the private hospital and apartments, from using this space for legitimate means, allowing for individuals to commit crimes and not be noticed. My recommendation would be to fix this lighting and to cut apparent foliage to allow for the light to increase exposure and thus limit the possibility for people to be unseen and committing crime. This allows for the natural surveillance to be at maximum opportunity considering the area and for the Brisbane Private Hospital to be more invested in the safety of this area. I would additionally add more illumination to the current pathways to light up the whole area to increase exposure. This allows for more natural surveillance throughout the park and for people to be able to recognise other people for at least 25 metres. This is of course considering the current budget that the Brisbane City Council is the main stakeholder of this park to put into place. By adding this lighting, it allows for criminals to consider whether the risk outweighs the reward of an attack, which links in rational choice theory. This can be seen to have been done in other parkways, such as the Roma Street Parklands, as the council has shown more ownership through its lights and maintenance of the area. And this is why it is recommended that the lighting be done. The second part noted in this audit is the clear lack of ownership seen once entering the park, particularly from the Albert Street entrances. This can be seen through the lack of signage promoting a separation between private and public property, which shows that there is someone maintaining and owning this park, which would be the Brisbane City Council. It is recommended that more signage be added, larger than the current visible sign, as this will increase the ownership and thus perceived management of the park, which increases the feeling of safety by those passing through. Furthermore, the use of emergency safety buttons in the more isolated areas of Wickham Park is recommended to counteract the lack of natural surveillance once you enter these lower areas blocked by foliage and cliff edges. In addition to this, to promote ownership, depending on the available budget by the Brisbane City Council, they could add in a children's playground in this available space, which would then transform the park from simply being a path from one destination to the other to a destination of enjoyment itself. Patients from the hospital could then utilise this park, increasing the levels of legitimate usage of the space. They could add in a pedestrian crossing, which promotes a feeling of community and safety provided by the Brisbane City Council. Which, according to social bond theory, increasing the positive usage of this space counteracts illicit behaviours. And therefore, the Brisbane City Council should encourage the hospital to use this area promoting stakeholders and community members to be more aware and provide natural surveillance to, to report suspicious behaviours, increasing their care factor and awareness of the space. The final high risk area highlighted in this border is the stone staircase leading up from the Albert Street entrance. Due to the enclosed area of this staircase, the attackers are able to predict the movement of victims walking up the staircase as there is no way to escape and from the edging they can see where the victim is coming from. Additionally, the 
placement of the mirrors allow for the fact that victims cannot see who is hiding in the alcove, making it a high risk area. In addition to this, there is a clear lack of lighting up the staircase, with only a single lamp illuminating the stairs. Therefore, it is recommended that solar lighting be implemented along the entire walkway and reflective fluorescent edging be added on the steps so that people can be more focused on where they are going than where they are stepping. This minimises the potential for surprise attacks, which according to the rational choice theory, as there is a higher risk of being seen, there is less likely for attacks. Additionally, it is recommended that this alcove lookout be changed in either of two ways. Firstly, either remove the stone edging and replace it with see-through metal fencing, which allows patrons to see who is in here and thus reducing the potential of attacks, improving sight and natural surveillance. Secondly, the more cost-effective alternative is to turn this into a memorial garden for the murdered Yuji Ban, who died in 2013. This removes the alcove and adds a personal element of recognition for this crime, which shows criminals that crime is remembered and recognised, thus promoting personal community connection with this place and promoting safety throughout this entire park.